Shalom Abracha, good afternoon and welcome to our Burst of Corona Chizik. I want to thank the wonderful special sponsors of the Corona Chizik and indeed all the Shurim this week. Freda Michael Harbate are sponsoring a memory of their dear parents, Malka Sarabash, Shalom Elio, Yeshaya Leib, Ben Arav, David Yitzchak, Yadassa, Masakona, Ramoshi, Suma, Gavriel, and Michael's dear brother, Arav Yehuda, Eliezer, Ben Ramoshi, Yisrael, Aleim, Shalom, Be'alois, and Eris, 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 and to a tremendous and continuous Aliyah and Hashem and Gadeda and Shell Myla. I want to thank as well our dear you did Jared Stark. Uh, unnecessary, very much appreciated, of course, Atov, uh, for the chizik that the Shear gives uh, to himself and to others. A big ashkach to the Haley group, Jared. As you see, unbelievable. Brochen at Slocha, Siata, Nishmai, and Ruchnius, and Gashmius, and all in Yanim, Tiska, Limitsis, and the cult of Sela. So let's get started. This is an oldie but a goodie. Let's go back to Shlomo and Ruth celebrating their golden wedding anniversary. Uh, their long-lasting and happy marriage was the talk of Ocean Parkway. Uh, so it was no surprise that a Jewish Chronicle reporter uh, came to see Shlomo and asked him, he said, tell me, our golden wedding anniversary, beautiful milestone. Uh, what's the secret to your long and happy marriage? Uh, well, it dates back to our honeymoon, explained Shlomo. You see, we visited the Grand Canyon right after we got married. And uh, we took a trip down to the bottom of the canyon while riding on mules. We hadn't gone very far when Ruth's mule stumbled on the way down. She looked at the mule and quietly said, that's once. Uh, we had only proceeded a little farther when the mule stumbled yet again. Uh, once more, Ruth looked at him in the eyes and quietly said, that's twice. Uh, we hadn't gone more than half a mile more when the mule stumbled yet a third time. Uh, this time, Ruth promptly removed a revolver from a rucksack and shot the mule dead right between the eyes. I started to protest over her treatment of the mule when Ruth looked at me and quietly said, That's once. I never started up with her again. Hi, you can't start off why? Because he's living in fear. How what's it like to live in fear in the end of the day? Mishlei, Perachav Ches, Posi Gedalit, I, but Ashrei Odem, Afachi, Tomid. You're right, I praise her, the Yisrael is always living in fear. Chazal, come and they ask the question, what do you mean? Oh, you have so many Pesukim, that life is about Amun, it's about Bitochen, it's about not fearing, because you got to be so much, you got to lie in the Yemishter. How many times do we say over in the Hershey and Rule of Phonetic Cognates, Ramosha Wolfson, Amun, Sitech, Parshiski, Savo, if you're so much on Hashem, you'll always be Besimcha, you got nothing to be afraid of. About. If God bought you to it, He's going to carry you through it. How uh, we don't know how uh, what the future holds in store, but we know who holds our future. Uh, that's the Rebbeinu Shalom. So what do you have to be afraid of? Frank the Gemara. What's Ashrei Adam Mafachi Tamid? You should be filled with fear and always be filled with fear. All right, Chazal and Brachas. The end of Brachas. Daf Samach Am and Aleph. Ha'Hobe Debrei Torah. Except as Rashi explains, that's uh, because you're worried you're going to forget your learning, and therefore what you go back Lishnoi some Tamid. You go back to Chaz all the time. That's the grandest parish of Mishli as well. Chavches Yedalit. We're talking about the great Tyra. We're talking about. As Rabbeinu Yona adds, and Shari Tshuva and Shari Aleph and Oschav, we're talking about someone who's afraid that they, it's our the ubiquitous presence of the evil inclination. Uh, that's who we're afraid of, and we got to always be battling. Uh, the Gemara and the Sukkah, and an Aleph from Rabbi Yitzchak, B'chol Yom Yom Yitzchak, Sholot and Meskam, Olav and Malakash, Ruchos and Yochel and Atzcho. We have the constant presence of the Eight Sahara. What's Asher Yadim Afachi Tam? And I'm always afraid of the Eight Sahara. I'm always afraid of forgetting my learning. Uh, that will compel you. That will force you to cause your learning. To View your Torah that will force you to always be working in yourself to know as well. And I want to say, the Torah is always trying to get you. Uh, but stop, fear in life, fear is never good. That fear, Chazal are telling us, is not the fear that you should have. It's only a fear in Ruchrius that I always have to force myself to be steiging, to make an honest reckoning, a cheshman and nefesh, and battle the Torah day in and day out. I have to always make sure to remember all my learning. That's Rashi, that's the grub. Aye, but fear, stop, it's never good to be afraid. Let's go to the New York Times bestseller, John Lloyd, John Mitchinson, back in 2008. If ignorance is bliss, why aren't there so many more happy people? Uh, let's start with a Spanish proverb. A life lived in fear as a life half lived. If you're living always in fear, you're never going to function properly. How matim, how apropos to our day and age, to our times. People are afraid, mamish, to go anywhere. I, the Pachanaira, COVID-19, coronavirus. Abu, let's go to Thomas Carlyle. 
The first duty of man is that of subduing fear. We must get rid of fear. We cannot act at all until then. A man's acts are slavish, not true, but specious. His very thoughts are false. He thinks too as a slave and a coward till he have got fear under his feet. We have to take control of fear. How do you do it? Go him whatever methods they have at their disposal. And we do it to have deal. We do it all you day the Torah, you day or moon to be talking. We're so much on the It's all good because whatever the Ebister does, it's always for a best. Now, we go to the Rebbe. And finally, our one last quote, Dorothy Thompson, only when we are no longer afraid do we then begin to live. You can't live and you can't function if you're always living in Pacha Naira and you're seized with fear and trepidation. You're afraid to go out at the end of the day. And you know what, my dear friends? Yes, we have to go into cars and we have to go into airplanes and trains and sometimes we go into situations and there's a little bit of fear. As long as we exercise the caution and we do everything that the doctors tell us to do. And it's the same way that the Doctors say, even now in the midst of Corona, you don't have to stay locked up in the house all day. Of how do we have to say lies? We have to stay home as much as we can, but we got to be able to function. And function means uh, you're allowed to go out and take walks. You're allowed to go out and exercise. As the doctors say, you should go to your doctor's appointments. Uh, just exercise caution, social distancing. Uh, be donning the mask whenever you can. Uh, make sure to be careful. Do your optimal, absolute establish every step of the way. But you got to live life. You still have to exercise and go to doctor visits. And you got to take care of your health and you got to take care of yourself. And you have to not live in fear. People living with Pachanoira, they can't function and they can't do and they can't accomplish in life. A life that is replete with fear, as that Spanish proverb told us, is a life that's only half lived. Let's have fear, but when do we have fear? Only fear from losing battles to the Yitzhara. Only fear of Ashri Yodah Mephachi Tamar Huba Debrei Torek Siv of forgetting and learning. That's a good type of fear. But otherwise, Eivishter, I'm so much on you. will always be Basimcha. I always rely on the Eivishter. Know that he's carrying you. Know that if you do your Ishtalas and you do what you need to do and you follow the advice and the counsel of doctors and Rabbanim, you got to trust the Das Taira and the Das Chacham and the Das Haraifim and you go with your Rav, you go with your doctor, you got to go ahead and still live life and you can't live in a constant fear, you won't be able to accomplish, you won't be able to learn, you won't be able to steig. My dear friends, you got to go ahead and live life and love life and you got to take fear and put it in its proper place. Have only fear outside to do what? To make sure I'm not going to forget my learning. I'm not going to lose battles against the Yitzhara. I'm always afraid of battling him. I, but in terms of a living life and maximizing every single second and every single day, you got to be so much on neighbors to you'll always be with Simcha. I take that fear bury it in the ground and steig, steig, steig have an awesome, uplifting and meaningful day ahead.